All right, um, let's talk about modeling an ear. Ears are tricky and weird. They're so weird when you think about it and when you look at them more carefully. There's all kinds of ways to do it. I'm going to show you my, my more favorite one, which is a bit of a combination of what we're already doing with where you're just drawing in 3D, right? So I'm going to start with a plane, but this time, and I'm just going to make it, I don't know, like a four by four or something like that and rotate it. 90 and I'm going to move it over here and just from the side view I'm going to kind of block it out just a little bit and I am pr pretty adamant in my own process of not extruding it out from the head and making the, the ear I would much rather model an ear in place and all this stuff and figure out that topology and then merge it because there's no there's no harm in it and that way you're not messing with your face you're just you know you're working with each one individually and then you marry the two in you know the best way you can because in you know again because ears are so weird they 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 are attached to your head but you know the contact point is actually pretty pretty small okay so i just moved my pivot point what i did is just d holding down d and then V so I can snap it over to this. So hold on, I'll just un undo that uh, D and then I'm holding down V and I'm snapping it over. And then the reason being that I'd like to be able to rotate it at the angle that the that that an ear is. OK, so using the topology that is already here. I'm going to just sort of block out rough shape. Again, this does not need to be precise it's you're just kind of and it is nice having this these different views of the ear and also I would say once you have one ear modeled I mean different shows will have different styles and different levels of detail to an ear absolutely but let's say you have like a nice solid ear that you modeled and it kind of looks like an ear for another character you're using, you know, that's why it's like so separate. Just take that ear from this character that you like and that you did and just plop it on your new character. No, no, you know, no problem with Frankensteining, right? Okay. So again, I'm just sort of blocking the shape and then I'm gonna look at it from the front view. And because my pivot point is right at that base here, I can rotate it and kind of rotate it in place, right? Often turns in, in the art and stuff like that will have ears that are kind of sticking out more than they should. But, you know, that really depends on the design and whether that's intentional or not. Uh, in the end, you know, the more your ear sticks out, the more your character is going to look like a mouse. And really, in the end, they're, they're, they're pretty close to parallel with, with your head. So just all of these things that you can observe in your own <laughs> in your own time the reason why i love to do it this way also is that now if i do any kind of move by object i'm actually in the access with that place that ear so everything that i do will be at that that angle right so that's really helpful okay so let's see so now from from here i have a bit of an angle that i want i can sort of think about where does it where does the back stay? And then we're going to sort of extrude from there. So this would be for the back of the ear. In fact, I'll reverse my normals just so that I reverse, right? So that there, this is definitely the, the back of the ear. And we will adjust it so that it connects better eventually. And then we're going to start to extrude out. So if you look at an ear, there is sort of a wrap around here and it's fun to feel it on your own ear too. Uh, and it kind of wraps around and then it gets a little bit flat around this area. So I'm going to select all the way till about here and extrude out and then give it, a, so giving it a little bit of thickness and then I'm gonna extrude this direction, okay? And then play around with this. And again, I have move in the, in the object, right? And then I'm going to sort of 
look at my art again. So she in particular has a really thick, it goes really thick and it's kind of boxy and then it kind of fades away over here, right? So we're going to try to capture that. I use a lot of sliding the edge like this, right? So that I'm again keeping, and then this is how we're going to get it to sort of fade, you know, it gets thinner right around here. Okay. And then this is, let's see, right? Okay. And then let's think, let's think. Okay. So this will wrap. I'll do another extrude because it's going in and we're going to get that nice shadow, right? Except on this side, it's almost, at this point, it's kind of fading. So we're going to make it, all I did was snapping it. And then we can also make it much thinner here, right? So it's getting, getting a little thinner here. It's a little thicker at the top. All of these things we can keep playing with. And then I'm going to extrude again. this and I only did that to this edge because I'm going to just snap it over here and merge. Okay. And let's see. All right. So we've got a little bit of that. Let's see if we could get, hello, these verts to kind of go down again to just every once in a while, check on your art, see if you're still on point. I think this has gotten a little Right here, let's see, let's select these guys and just scooch them just a bit. Okay, so we've got this nice shadow now. Let's go ahead and extrude this guy and just bring him over here. And we will end up with a lot of triangles at first because we're just kind of blocking, but that is entirely okay. And that's another area that's really fun to hide some triangles inside that the hole of the ear because nobody needs to see in there. Okay. All right. I'm going to fill this hole. Oops, sorry. Fill the hole. Okay. And we do have that nice curve here, that detail. So I'm going to cut that in right now. And let's look at it again here and like that. And this can go to here. And in fact, I could just go ahead and kind of cut this here because it's always nice to have a little extra topology, especially right where it meets. So I'll just park this here for now. I'll resolve it later. Okay, but now we have this, this extra, oops, this extra curve and I am going to, add a little holding edge here so that I can actually push this back a little. Okay, so let's look at it smoothed. It's not great, but you're starting to see those lines, right? Those little shadows and everything. So that, that's where we're, what we're trying to do. And of course, it's, it's still work in progress. It definitely got a little too thin here. So we'll, we'll, play, we'll play with that in time. 